Jesus Christ this year is 42 year old Rubin Enyakin, a house painter and decorator who will donate himself and offer up himself along with 12 other men. Apart from the desire alone to atone for their sins, they offer this up to bring a speedy end to the war in Iraq. Last year attracted over a crowd of an estimated 20,000 people. There are 500 flagellants who you'll see some of these things are horrifying. These plains are filled with the lava from the erupted volcano uh, in 1991. This is the scene of where the people gather to watch the crucifixions on a yearly basis. What you are about to see may be quite shocking. For reassurance, the scenes do not get any worse than those of the initial shocking actions of these men who voluntarily submit themselves to the religious practice of self-flagellation. The need to teach the gospel in the Philippines is very clear. David Clark took this video footage during his mission work to the jails of the Philippines in April 2003. This is real, for real. David Clark, Philippines, 2003. Okay, we now have, okay, sir, tell me who you are, sir. To you. Good morning to you, everybody, and I'm Pastor Edward De Cite from the island of the Philippines. And uh, that you will enjoy and you will see the crucifixion here, the reenactment of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. This really? is the tradition of Filipino people here yes. in Pampanga. When province. did this start, sir? Because it seems very horrific. Yeah, they start in, when the Filipino know that Jesus Christ was crucified and yes. the people, they also uh, remember this kind of this. Uh, when, when did they learn these things? I think before uh, 1950s. 1950s, yeah. yeah. And this, this has been practiced every year since Every then? year they practice this, uh, this, practice this kind of uh, reenactment. Now, is this a real crucifixion? Uh, yeah, there's real crucifixion. Real that, crucifixion? That you will see the, the nails and, yes. and they will took the hammer yes. to the nails or to the now, hands. Now, sir, really, is this real Christianity or is this, what is it? Tell me. Uh, I think this is not, or this is a reality of Christianity, but it's only a tradition. A tradition, yeah. yeah a tradition yeah, yeah. of the, the Christianity. Yeah, okay. I'm amazed to see what's going on. Uh, but that's not on the, where we will look at the Bible, yes. that you will see the, the reality of Jesus Christ. Yes. And uh, it's only the, the uh, I mean, you will just to reenactment or I mean to okay. imitate the, okay. the true Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir. Now, um, if I could come to your church, sir, where are you based? Uh, my church is, and uh, you will see, on uh, Las Piñas City. Okay. The are Church you? is United Pentecostal Church. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Very much. Thank you, very much. Uh, God bless, sir. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Can you tell me where you're from? United States. Okay. And uh, what are you doing here? I'm a Peace Corps volunteer. I teach in a home for abused girls. Um, really? In Tarlock City, Tarlock. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, uh, w w what, um, what called you here? What, what brought you here? I've always liked doing um, community service and charity work. Yes. And my father actually worked for the Peace Corps for a long time. Yes. And so I joined after I graduated from college. What, is this a Christian or organization? No, it's run by the government. Run it's, by the government, yeah. yeah are you a Christian or are you... Uh, I'm a, Methodist. A Methodist. So that, that means you're Christian, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, I've never been to something like this. Today. I'm just going to take a shot of the crucifixion crosses mm -hmm. at the moment and then come back to you, okay? Okay. Um, the reenactment of the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus. And I'm just going to ask the lady to give me an opinion. Shocking. Shocking, <laughs> yes. I'm really surprised that people yeah. have that much faith. That yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah kind of fanatical. <laughs> okay, right. Now, um, how long have you been here now? I've been here since last July. Okay, and do you enjoy your work? Absolutely. Okay. Do you get any support from home? Yes, my family's very supportive. Oh, very good. Okay, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. You're right. no, no, no. Thank you. Here we have, now you'll tell by the voice where you're from, the most famous place in the world, Northern Ireland, Belfast, none other. Your name, sir? My name is Noel Stevenson. Yes, sir. We do come from Belfast, Northern yes. Ireland. Yes. We're visiting the Philippines. Great stuff. Uh, for approximately one year. Yes. And I do work with... Uh, Dr. Paisley's church, the Martyrs. You mean the Reverend Ian Paisley, the European MP from England? That is right. The United Kingdom? Are you with his church? Yes. Now, with the children there. 
Really, yes. Real fast down the chill. Got the evangelist. Oh, okay, brilliant. Visiting the uh, Philippines. Lovely, yes, yeah, sir. That's lovely. Now, can I just? I'm going to take the camera and move it to the picture at the crosses at the moment. I'm going to ask you to comment, please, sir. Hold on, please. Yeah. So I'm going to ask the man what he thinks of this enactment. Okay. What, what, tell me about what's going to happen. Well, there will be people crucified today. Really crucified? Uh, enacting the cross again, work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Reenacting? Yes. Is this uh, important? We consider it blasphemy. I think it is too, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have to understand the darkness of the Philippine mind. Yes. And uh, we're in sympathy with these people. Yes. Uh, they are in darkness. They yes. need the Lord Jesus Christ. As sir, brilliant, sir. Yes, savior. I like to hear this, sir. Uh, and so, uh, while we would condemn it, yes. yet uh, we have a deep feeling for the people right. who will be enacting this today. Yes, yes, yes. Now, sir, can you suggest any methods? How can we help such people? The only way of helping the people is preach the word of God right. and the uh, distribution of good gospel tracts, yes. uh, explaining the way of yes. salvation. Yes. Yes. And uh, if God's people uh, yes. begin to pray yes. and ask God to send a revival yes. again, yes. Yes. Uh, God in his mercy right. can once again do this Good. Uh, so that people turn to the Lord Jesus right. okay. Christ again. Now what comes to me at the moment, sir, is a verse of scripture. It says, and after this, I will return and build again the tabernacle of David. How do you think, sir, that could come about? Well, I'm not so sure how it will come about. Yeah. But I do know that he's building his church on yes. earth at present. And there's one gospel. Yes. And there's one kingdom. Yes. And uh, it's uh, entrance into that kingdom okay. by the precious blood of Great. Jesus yes. Christ. Now, sir, would you go and preach these things to anywhere you're invited? I will preach the gospel to all and sundry who will listen to me yes, yes. Uh, explaining the way of salvation. Brilliant, yeah. So would we go to the Pope of Rome and teach him too? Well, I'm not so sure about the Pope of Rome. <laughs> <laughs> but would you tell him the way of salvation? Oh, I would tell him that he's a sinner. Yes, uh, we're all sinners, yeah? That he's the Antichrist. And he needs and, to be saved. Uh, he would need to repent yeah. and turn to Christ. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, yes. But, uh, I, I would doubt that very much. Okay, because there's written in the Word of God, yeah? Yes, it yes. is. Uh, okay. It's so, a part of the Antichrist okay, yes, system. Yes. At this and we point. should come out from this system, yeah? We should separate because yes. the Bible tells yes. us. Come out from among them, yeah? Come out from among them yeah. and be ye separate and okay. touch not the unclean thing. So, okay, so for, for you, sir, just say goodbye and uh, how may we come contact you, sir? Well, I, I want to thank you for the time of the interview. Yes. And we could be contacted yes. uh, through Pastor Tapai, okay. the Baptist uh, Pastor yes. in Valeti Tarlik. Excellent. Can we have a contact telephone number or an email? Uh, you will have to speak to uh, Pastor Tapai about the contact okay. number there. Yes. Go. Cool. Thank you very much, sir. Thank My privilege. Thank you, thank sir. Thank you very much. This documentary was made to bring the viewer's attention to the reality of a religious practice in the Philippines whose dominant religion is Roman Catholic. Well, these are flagellants. I don't know what to call that, but it sounds like it in me. Ah. Trojan Horse International is an incorporation registered in the Philippines with the Securities Exchange Commission in order to help to bring to light the Gospel of Christ. It is believed that truth sets men free from the need to practice this kind of religious devotion. However, we acknowledge that these people are very sincere, but sincerely wrong in their understanding of the gospel. But this man says, 400, this is 400 pesos for sale. Let me see. These are very sharp, and these are what they yeah. bruise people's back. Thank you very much, sir. No, some worthy person, not me. Thank you. In fact, Good Friday, and it's coming up to 12 o'clock. Uh, we've seen the flagellations, we've seen the processions, we've been, seen many things and spoken to many people. But here's the crowd gathered, and we're going to watch the crucifixion, a commemoration or reenactment of the death of our Lord Jesus Christ and the thieves by his cross. So we go now to the foot of the cross. Davy Clark, Philippines. Trojan International, Tulip, Bills Incorporated. 
Spirit of the Lord, come down, anoint me. 